How was lockdown? Um, uncertain, I think, for all of us. You know, we have parents that are older, we have uh, family that are in the so-called, you know, bracket of high risk, and I think football kind of took a step to one side, but we were all wanting the season to end. There were moments when we, obviously, in, in the lockdown, when we thought it's a, it's a proper, proper setback from all our dreams. It's like. Wow, we are so close. It's such a sensation season and now it looks like it could get away. So it was a setback, but it was a setback for all of us together and we could calm each other down. No, 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 we'll be fine. So I send a message and I will not happen, even when I thought, wow, yeah. it could happen. But we all had obviously setbacks in our own life and um, as a footballer, it starts pretty early sometimes. And I'll pr probably mean, while well, everybody knows that your career was not... <laughs> yeah. I now I now look back on it with you know happy memories because it made it made me. But you know the day you get you know told it's like your world ends. Do you mean a 15 year old boy playing with? Did they give you a reason? My guy came in from Motherwell and just had a kind of different approach. He wanted kind of you know bigger lads and stronger. And Celtic teams then became a lot stronger and more physical and stuff like that. And you know I didn't quite fit into that. <laughs> I, I didn't. I probably don't fit into it now. Never mind <laughs> when I was 15. So they would still send you away. Yeah, they would still send me away <laughs> if I showed up. I think, but um, you know, probably as a normal 15-year-old lad like that, probably a couple of tears. But mom and dad got me my favourite curry that night um, and back to the house during the week. That never happened. And then you know, my auntie came up to the house and she said to mom and dad, "I'm telling you, he'll make it as a footballer." And and that's that's something that's always stayed with me. So, um, when I was at Dundee United on Christmas Day, sadly she passed away. So. She was one that um, always believed that I was something special when probably nobody believed it when I was younger. But, you know, that's something that does um, bug me a little bit that she's not seen, you know, me left in the Champions League, you know, left in the Premier League and, and things like there's that. A, there's a little similarity that it's, um, my dad never saw me as a manager. Mm. So I, he died four months before I became a manager. But the actual thing is my father was a natural coach as well. So if you would have asked him, he would have said, yeah, you have to become a coach, right? <laughs> we never spoke about that. He just pushed me through my career pretty much, really harsh criticism and stuff like this. But now my real career, he never saw. Yeah. So that's, that, that's hard yeah. to be honest from time to time, especially what makes it really strange. I'm now 53 and if I sit, sit in a specific angle, look like this in a mirror, and I'm scared to death because I look exactly like my father. <laughs> I never looked like my father. My whole life I looked like my mother. And all of a sudden he looked, <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. my dad. Yeah, so like it's really crazy. But the support never stops. How do you feel, Bosch, about talking about um, mental health? We are all concerned about is physical health and mental health. We are just more used to get help for physical health, obviously. When we have pain or are bleeding, yeah. then it's obvious. And we don't have to explain anybody. And everybody knows when you're bleeding, you need help. So that's easy. When I started, you know, making it professional and things like that, I think that's when I struggled the most. When I was maybe down in Hull alone, and everyone thought, okay, he's a Premier League footballer, he's playing, you know, for Hull, he's he's getting a good wage, and like, so then people would maybe stop asking, "How are you?" They would start asking, "Can we get what tickets? Are you doing with can it? we? Yeah, can we get? <laughs> yeah." So, you know, I think only since probably, I would say probably since the last year or two since you know we've had kids and things like that then I've started to open up more even on small things you know I used to be one that like I said blocked everything up and dealt with I thought well my problems are my problems and then I took everyone else's problems on board so you know but now now I feel so much better you know I remember speaking to Rach like a year ago something daft but something that was obviously playing on my mind and you know after maybe a 10 minute conversation with her I felt you know, like everything was all, and I was like, oh yeah, I should maybe do this a bit more often. So, <laughs> you know, I think mentally it's been a lot, it's been a lot easier because I've opened up a lot, you know, a lot better. And, you know, that's something I wish I'd done probably earlier. But the general, the general group we, we, we created at, at Melwood, that we really have now a high level of expectations, but we all feel it's not about me alone hmm. to, to fulfill them. It's really, we, we do it together. So if I'm not perfect today, the other one, so that, that helps. If you, if you don't feel all the burden of everything on, on your own shoulders, if you really know, okay, I get help in this case from my mates. So if you have a group of friends or group of colleagues and you can have creative uh, an atmosphere like this, that helps already. I think the main issue is really to feel in different situations in life, just alone. Yeah. Because alone is alone. I think there's no problem big enough that you or small enough that you cannot talk about. Life is a challenge for all of us constantly. It means 
starts with getting up in the morning. So for some it's easier, for others it's not that easy. So that, that's the first, the first little fight you have to win in some days. But then it starts, all the problems start. So my advice would be talk and don't be embarrassed about your own situation because you will be surprised how many people have the same problem.